This Week in Bison Sports on 101.5 UMFM. The last time we talked to you, we were up uh, kind of uh, up top of Bison Sports' yeah. old office, mm -hmm. talking just about the off season, Desiree Scott coming for fundraiser dinner and stuff. A lot has happened since then. Vanessa Martinez Lagunas in your fourth season with Bison Women's Soccer. Uh, just talk about, this is one of the best summers for this program in basically the 12 year history that we've been in CIS action. That is true, Chris. We're extremely happy. Exciting times uh, are coming our way. Um, and again, so we started with that fantastic fundraising event where we were able to bring Desiree Scott to speak at our event. She was fantastic. The, the words that came out of her mouth were so inspiring and motivating for our whole squad and the parents, all the attendees. Um, and then after that, you know, we, we put on the beat to host the 2017 CIS Women's Soccer Championship and we were the chosen university, which is a huge honor. Um, Manitoba has never hosted a CIS Women's Soccer Championship and I think it will be the first team sports national championship that we host since 2000, 2001. So that's 15 years um, that we haven't seen that type of team sport national championship here in Manitoba. So I think it's not only good for our program, but for the whole university. And definitely I think we're going to be able to put a big mark in raising the standard of CIS women's soccer um, here in Manitoba because <clears throat> our, our bid won because of many reasons but also because of the amazing facilities we are going to be able to offer for this amazing tournament. So we have three main facilities uh, to host. So we have the Waverly Complex, now called Ralph Cantafio Soccer Complex. Um, that will be the main venue um, to play the games. But of course, in Winnipeg, we don't know how the weather is going to be in November um, when we play the games, the national championship. So we also have the whole indoor soccer complex right here on campus available for the tournament. So if we, because of weather, we cannot play outdoors. We're just, we we can move the games indoors at no time. So that's a huge advantage. And finally, and also very important, that we we propose to play the medal matches, so the gold medal and the bronze medal match at the um, IGF Stadium, uh, former FIFA Women's World Cup um, Stadium. So it's a big dream, you know, for any female player that is out there to have the chance to play on the same pitch where the best players in the world played last summer. So definitely a fantastic opportunity, uh, not only for us, but for, for CIS, to use that legacy that the World Cup left here in Winnipeg and use it to raise the standard of CIS women's soccer. Um, also, Winnipeg has shown great support for the sport. When we hosted the, the matches in 2015, Winnipeg was actually the second best uh, host city in the whole tournament. We had lots of fans, so definitely the Winnipeg uh, community loves soccer. They are hungry for soccer, um, so I'm pretty sure they are going to help us. Also, our team, University of Manitoba, is the second best team in terms of home attendance. Uh, we were ranked second in home attendance last season, so definitely there is a lot of fans. Um, we want to keep raising that and become the first uh, place where our home attendance is the best in whole Canada West. And hopefully we're going to keep working on that together with you, with Roxanne, all our staff, to achieve that goal. But definitely um, we're doing well and this national championship is going to be a fantastic tool for the university, for our program and for CIS to raise the standard of our sport. That is fantastic, Vanessa. She's just trying to butter me up. It's all, it won't work. It won't work. It's all good. But uh, we're doing our job here. You know, the, you know what the great thing about this is, you know, Desiree Scott now playing again with Team Can the Olympics. You guys watched it this week. Amazing. It was amazing stuff. It's just what this program uh, has done in the past and can offer. But announcing this week, we had six new recruits also uh, announced. One already has international experience, yes. a couple of local, some from out of uh, town as well. Uh, just talk about them kind of briefly about what these six will bring to this team uh, now and in the future. 
Mm, you know, all six of them are extremely talented. You mentioned Kathy uh, Rados from Victoria, BC. Um, she has had the opportunity to play already at the international level. She has dual citizenship. She's Canadian and also Croatian. Um, so she she has been able to play for the under-17 and under-19 Croatian national team. So she ha she has played at the UEFA. UEFA is the European Confederation. They, they have regular competition. They, she has played against Germany, um, probably some of the players that I still used to coach uh, when I was back there. Uh, I know the European environment very well and I know the level of competition that is right there. Um, so Kathy will bring great experience to our team, um, a really high competitive mentality, great discipline. She knows what is required to play at that level. So definitely she's going to help, she's going to help our team a lot and, and just to help me to keep bringing that mentality and, and the culture of high performance to our program. I think we're doing a, gr a great uh, job in that and, and the girls every time are more hungry and, and more determined to, to improve their level and, and be a top program in, in Canada. Um, the other girls, um, of course, I'll start with the two recruits from here, from Winnipeg. Um, those girls are also some of the best players that we have right here in Manitoba. Um, in 2014, they won with uh, Kelvin High School. They won the, the Urban um, High School Championships. They have been members of the Manitoba Blizzard, which is also a very competitive uh, program where um, most of the most talented players train and compete and go to the U.S. to try to get recruited there, and we were able to keep them here. So I'm very proud of that. Um, the other two players uh, came from Ontario, from Thunder Bay, and um, they are also very talented, probably the most talent, some of the most talented players in that region, and they decided to come here. So definitely, again, we're just strengthening all the team lines, and of course, um, even the substitute players are going to be so strong, you know, and that's what a, a successful team needs. You need to be strong in your starting positions and also in your backup positions. Um, and then also something very special is we were able to recruit, at least in my te tenure as a he head coach, the first ever um, American uh, player US from USA. Um, so she came um, to watch the World Cup games last year in uh, 2015, um, did a campus tour as part of the event and loved the university and learned that there was a soccer team. So she started contacting me. Um, we brought her to do a, a visit of, of the campus to explain her about our program. She loved, loved it and decided to come here. So we're extremely proud. Hopefully in the future we will be able to recruit more players from the U.S. and we can offer really great things that are different from the NCAA. So definitely I think that why not? We can also compete to bring players from the U.S. to Canada instead of always losing players from Canada to the U.S. So I think that we need to get to another level and also start attracting some talent um, from the South. I like that. Why not? Why not why us? Not? Why not us? Uh, lastly here with Vanessa Martina Lagunas, you have 35 players in your camp there, about 18 get the travel spot. How competitive has training camp been and you know, leading into preseason next week? It's a great environment, Chris. So definitely everybody wants to play. Um, my mentality and my philosophy as a coach is that everybody has a chance. You know, I don't care if somebody's a fifth-year player or a first-year player. Um, in my eyes, when we start a new season, there is a blank sheet um, and everybody has a chance to compete for a spot. So everybody knows um, that I'm going to choose the best players, the most effective players that will help our program get um, good results because we need good results so that we can get more support for our program. They know that. They know that the focus of our competitive season is is based on getting good results because that's what we need to keep growing as a program. Um, so they are doing their best, they are very disciplined, they have been working extremely hard and I can tell you that the environment is fantastic. I'm enjoying it, all of them are competing fairly, you know, and, and as teammates. Um, we use something that we call positive rivalries, which means that each player needs to give 120% every day. 120%. <laughs> to make themselves better and make their teammates better and their team better. Um, but still being a good teammate, you know, helping each other and, and, and being around just an all round good players and good people. Um, so definitely I'm extremely happy with what I have, I have seen so far and we're going to have a great test 
next week. Very good, Vanessa Martina Lagunas. All the best this season. We'll talk uh, throughout this season. Uh, preseason will be starting in the States next week and then at the end of the month here at home. As always, appreciate your time here and you're listening to This Week in Bison Sports on 101.5 UMFM. Peace.